Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is a continuation on how to draw this badge. And it's not so important on the badge itself, but uh, I thought it'd be pretty important if you knew this. So you draw a line, and you go and you change it to two points, or let's make it four points, or eight points. Let's make it eight points. We'll make it black. Okay. Then you take it, let's zoom in here a little bit, and you make a duplicate, control D, double click on it, move your rotation to the edge, rotate it three degrees, control D again, and go all the way around, and that's probably a little bit too thick, but this is the reason for the video, and I'm gonna show you what, it, what happens here. Okay, so you've drawn that, you group it together, you've drawn it bigger than you wanted. You know, you're working on this star, or this badge that's only 5 inches tall. So let's make this 5 inches tall. Now look what happened to our lines. They're all joined together, they bleeded together. So... When you do this, let's just move that out of the way. Let's do it again. I'm not going to do the exact same one, but close. Hold down your control key. It'll draw a perpendicular line or a horizontal line, depending on which way you move. Now this time, when you go to pick your thickness of your line, we'll go black. We'll make it. I think we did eight points, but you need to check this box, scale with object. Okay, make a duplicate, double click it, move your rotation to that edge. Sometimes it's a little hard. Okay, there we go. Rotate it three degrees. Just hold down the control button in the in the D, you know, just keep making duplicates till you get close and then just click it one at a time. Whoop. I lost it. Three twenty-seven. Well, it must be three thirty-three. Three thirty-six. <laughs> Sorry, three thirty-nine. There we go. Control D. Okay, I didn't do exactly. Anyway, but I'm going to show you. So you group this together, and now you make it five inches tall, and your lines are still separated because they've scaled down they're not 0.8 anymore they're you know whatever they need to be so no matter how small you make it your lines will still be visible here's one I did earlier and you can see these are the lines I picked and then when I scale these are to scale to object this one is not and even the interior, you know, you get really close, they're still separated. They're going to join in the middle a little bit. It has to, but there's what happens. So when you draw something, and I don't care if it's a, a square box. I draw everything in hairline, but let's make it, let's make it a 12 points. That looks pretty good, but then when you scale it down, your line are still 12 points, but they're going to be joined together. There you've got it all solid in. Where if you went scale to object or scale with object, you still got the same kind of box. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.